The part responsible for adding the anesthetic agent is the vaporizers. Uh, basically, volatile anesthetic agents are used to achieve unconsciousness. As we uh, said before, we use inhalation anesthetics. And basically, such, uh, the, such agents are exhalable and evaporate quickly, so, uh, so, such as isoflurane and sevoflurane. The anesthetic agent vaporizers uh, converts anesthetic agent from liquid to vapor and mixes uh, that with the fresh gas at preset concentrations. The, usually, uh, this is done by an apparatus that looks like this. Basically, we have the anesthetic agents right here. And basically, uh, on top of it, you'll find, because it's, uh, it's, uh, it can evaporate very quickly, you'll find that the uh, uh, concentration of the uh, anesthetic agent vapor on top of it will be almost 30%. So if we have fresh gas input and basically pass part of that in, uh, into this uh, vaporizing chamber and another part, uh, in a bypass flow, and basically uh, we control the ratio between these two, we can actually get the concentration that we need on the other side. So basically vaporizers uh, are primarily designed to reduce the high saturation uh, concentration of 30%, almost 30%, to concentration required during the anesthesia, which is about 2%. Vaporizers can be implemented either mechanically or electronically. Uh, the first one, which is the mechanical vaporizer, uh, relies on a mechanical device that does not require any power and basically uh, it takes the input fresh gas and uh, uh, divides it between a bypass, uh, a bypass path and a path that goes over the, uh, the inhalation aesthetic, as we said before. So basically, the part that goes right here basically uh, gets a high concentration of uh, inhalation aesthetic uh, a vapor and basically goes back and gets mixed with the part that goes through the uh, the uh, bypass uh, path. Okay, and the the the, the uh, uh, summation of the two will give us the concentration that we need. We can control through a, a, a very simple valve here. It's a, it looks like a, a another needle valve where we can control from a dial over there. And basically, this controls the the mixture uh, between the bypass and the one that goes through the uh, inhalation anesthetics. Uh, moreover, we have here a flap, bimetallic strip, and this bimetallic strip actually changes shape uh, based on the temperature. So basically, uh, takes care of uh, compensation of the temperature, because as we know, if this is uh, placed in a temperature, high temperature, the concentration of the paper here will be higher. And if it's in a cooler temperature, the concentration here will be lower. So basically here, in cooler temperatures, it allows the flow to be a little bit more uh, and basically in warmer temperature, it allows the flow to be a little bit less. So whatever the temperature will be, the flow that is going uh, through the uh, uh, part where the inhalation anesthetics are placed uh, will have exactly the same concentration where it goes and mixes with the uh, bypass uh, part. Alternatively, electronic vaporizers uh, do everything that the mechanical vaporizer does in an electronic form. So basically we have also here the bypass uh, direction and basically here, this is the part that goes through the inhalation anesthetic. But here we control the flow of the uh, uh, part that goes through the inhalation anesthetics by a valve, through a valve right here. And basically we measure the temperature, we measure the pressure, we measure everything so that we can accurately make the, the uh, 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 mixing so that the concentration output will be exactly as we desire. So this is basically uh, an electronic form that allows exactly the, the same functions that mechanical vaporizers does. But this one ha actually has to uh, consume some power, so basically has uh, to have an electrical power. And also it has a compensation, much more accurate compensation of temperature and pressure variations inside the vaporizer. So these are a little bit more accurate than the mechanical vaporizers.